Hey everybody, my name is Brian, and you and I are about to go on an amazing adventure together. We're going to cover Magic 8-Ball, the stock market prediction engine that I've been working on for years. We're going to cover what is it, how accurate is it, how do we use it, the differences between the free version and the subscriber version, and a live example. What is it? I mean, really fundamentally, what is Magic 8-Ball? Well, it is a stock market prediction engine, but really it's an advanced indicator. It's designed for options traders and it uses the options chain. Currently it's focused on zero DTE, but I'm going to in the future expand this out maybe even as far as 90 DTE, depending on how accurate those long-term predictions are. The predictions come in two flavors, soon and end of day. Now how soon? Usually within an hour, but we don't know for sure. It's just what the market conditions are doing. And end of day, of course, is the end of the trading day. It also includes example trades in case you're a new trader and you don't really know what to do. And it has vibrant online communities. Notice that's plural. I've been trying to build a network of online communities. How accurate is it? That's the million dollar question, quite literally. Well, it depends on a few factors. Market condition, world news, entry time, and your individual trading style. I'll give you an example. If you enter a trade at, say, 10 in the morning, at the same time the Fed is going to speak and talk about how we're going into a recession, you're probably going to have a bad time, regardless of whether or not you're even using Magic 8-Ball, because the market's going to change very drastically as soon as he's done speaking. It may even change while he's speaking. So you have to be really conscious of what's going on in the world, what the market is currently doing. Entry time, everybody kind of focuses on, you know, what time should I enter a trade? I'm going to level with you. This system's designed to adapt with the market, so it kind of negates that. There really is no perfect entry time. We do have some key times that are better than others, but there's really no perfect time. Again, you have to watch the market and world news and your individual trading style. Your profit or your loss is going to depend on your behavior. This is not financial advice. This is just simply an indicator. I wanted to take a moment and talk about the example trades because people tend to rely on these as if it's some all-knowing magical oracle that's going to make them billions of dollars. You have to understand that each trade is completely independent. This system generates hundreds of trades every single day, but it doesn't look at all of the trades. It's assuming that you as an individual trader are not going to enter, say, 300 put credit spreads in one day. No, it's going to assume you're going to pick one trade and run with it. It's also ignorant of world events, meaning it's not sitting there scanning Fox News and CNN trying to figure out if there's a new COVID variant or anything like that. It's just simply looking at the market and using math in the background. Each trade also runs to expiration, meaning when I run the log at the end of the day, it's assuming there is zero stop loss and you just put the trade on and completely forget it. That is how I determine accuracy in the system. Did the trade expire full profit or not? So when we talk about percentages here in a minute, we're talking about full profit, not some weird, hey, I stopped out at 5% or I you know, exited at 50% profit. It is either completely wins or completely loses. Now, you as an individual trader should use stop loss and should take profit when you see it. But of course, this is not financial advice. So this assumes that you are managing your trades. It will not tell you when to enter a trade, it will not tell you when to exit, and it will not recommend stops. It's up to you, the individual trader, and your trading style and technique to determine your risk factors and what you're willing to tolerate. Okay, some of the example trades that this thing will generate are butterflies, verticals, and iron condors. And we're going to talk about each one of these. Butterflies. Oh, I get butterflies just thinking about butterflies. But anyways, so a butterfly is a, well, directionally neutral trade. I'm sure you know what a butterfly is. It has a low entry cost, which is what makes it attractive, but it has a very low probability of profit. Some people are really, really good at butterflies, but mathematically, they are the lowest probability of profit. They are extremely hard to make money on. The best time to enter, there really isn't one, but we found that generally between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., pretty much the entire day, um, is when you can enter a butterfly. The accuracy, of course, ranges from 10% to 30%. Like I said, very underwhelming for butterflies. But remember, 
These are running completely to the end of day. You can definitely take these off and make profit when you see it. But the system assumes that it's just going to go to the end of the day, and that's how I'm tracking the metrics. So out of you know 100 plus butterflies, 10 to 30% of them expire within profit. That's actually not bad for a butterfly. Verticals, okay, a vertical. We're talking about the call credit spreads and the put credit spreads. The pros, well, they're very simple to use. You just pick a direction and go. The cons is, well, you're picking a direction. It's directionally biased, meaning if you say the market's gonna go up, well, the market can humble you and go down very rapidly, especially in these days. We've identified two best times to enter this trade, right around 10 in the morning and one in the afternoon. And here's why. At 10 in the morning, the market is kind of settling down a little bit from that early morning volatility, and it kind of gives you a good indicator of what direction the market's gonna go, at least up until around lunchtime. Around lunchtime, you know, everybody goes to lunch and you know enjoys their cheeseburger or pizza or Chinese or whatever you're into. And then they come back and they start trading again. And that's when the volatility picks back up. But by then, the market's pretty much picked a direction. And it's picked pretty much where it wants to go for the day, unless, of course, there's some crazy world event or news. Now, accuracy, remember, when we talk about accuracy, we're talking about running all the way to the end of the day. So verticals tend to be between 50% and 90% accurate. Again, that's going to depend on market news, where the market's going, and your individual trading styles. This system runs to end of day. So the accuracy is actually probably much higher if you start using stop losses. And in future versions, I do want to bake stop losses into this system. Iron condors, if you're just looking to make money, I'm gonna tell you right now, iron condors are probably one of the easiest ones to work with because condors in this system are huge. They are the most accurate in the system. The problem with this is because they're so big, they have big loss. So you really have to watch and maintain your stops because if the market moves against you, you're going to want to eject out of that condor so you don't take a huge loss. We found the best time to enter an iron condor is right around 10 in the morning, maybe even a little bit earlier so you can get the best profit. The accuracy of condors in the system is between 99% and 100%. That's right. So this thing's generating literally hundreds of iron condors and 99% of them are expiring in full profit. And it's just because the condors are so huge. Now, the problem with iron condors, of course, is if that market moves against you, it's gonna move against you rapidly and you have to really maintain your stops. That being said, condors, if you just wanna check the system out, they will pay for themselves. You win one condor and it's paid for an entire month of this system. We're going to cover how do you use this. There's three main components. There's a text wall, a prediction chart, and a quad chart. Let's look at each one of these. The first thing you're going to see in a prediction is the text wall, and it is literally just a wall of text. But we're going to like dive in and dissect this thing. The very first part of the text wall is, well, the prediction. In this case, we're saying SPX current price of 39.48 is expected to move up closing near 39.49, but will range between 39.48 and 39.54. Really, there's some key elements there. We have the underlying, in this case SPX, the current price, and the expected direction. We're saying in this case, it's going to move up where we think it's going to close at, closing near 39.49, and the range we can expect this price to move within. Remember, this is based off a snapshot in time, the current metrics within the market. So things can change. That's why the predictions generated every five minutes for subscribers. The second part of the text wall is metrics. This is here to, well, really, deep dive and elaborate on how the system came to this prediction because we don't want to just blindly trust the prediction. We want some, well, hard facts to back it up. So metrics include the price, the direction, the closing, where we think it's going to close at, where we think it's going to range from and to, but then we have volume exposure, interest exposure, gamma exposure, and delta exposure. What are those four last things? 
Think of the market as a table with four legs. Each one of those is a leg in the table. Now, the volume exposure, interest exposure, gamma exposure, and delta exposure are all analyzer groups within the system, meaning each group is filled with different analyzers, and each analyzer tries to become an expert in that specific subject. So for example, volume exposure is filled with a bunch of different analyzers, each one of them that inspects volume in different ways and tries to become an expert at it, and they come up with a final number. So each group has a final number. And each final number comes together to help form the prediction. There are other analyzer groups as well, but those are the four main pillars, as I call them, volume, interest, gamma, and delta. The final part of the text wall are the example trades. And special note here, you can literally copy and paste these trades into Thinkorswim. We're going to talk about that in the live example. And remember that each trade generated is independent. So the trades are generated every five minutes, and you may see the system say, well, the market's going to go up, and then suddenly it says, wait a minute, market's going to go down. It's doing that because it adapts as the market shifts. So for example, if you have a Fed speaker who's going to talk about how we're going into recession and the market's currently going up, guess what? After he's done talking, the market's probably going to nosedive really, really fast. This system will adapt with those changes in the market. Each prediction also comes with two charts. The first chart is called the prediction chart. And really what you need to fundamentally remember here is follow green. Green is good. Always follow the green lines. If you look at the legend off to the left, you'll see there is price, prediction, and then we have the four pillars, volume, gamma, delta, and interest. You'll notice the prediction is a dark green and gamma is a bright green. Remember, Green is good or follow green. Typically, the prediction is the end of day prediction. It's a dark green. We're expecting that at the end of the day. Gamma, however, is the soon prediction, meaning we expect that very, very soon. The others help formulate what's going on in the market. For example, delta, you notice that's red. Uh, typically, the price tends to bounce away from the delta line. And interest is where everyone wants the market to go, but it hasn't quite gotten there yet. We also include tracking lines to show you historically what the price has done, what the prediction has done, and where those four pillars currently are, along with our blue volume profile. Uh, we put the volume profile there because volume is pretty indicative of where the market wants to go. The second chart is called the quad chart, and we take each four pillar, volume, interest, gamma, and delta, and we break them off into their own charts. Each chart has a profile, which shows you exactly what that individual pillar is doing under the hood. It has a high and a low range and a prediction line, so we know exactly where each pillar thinks it's going to go, and a small red tracking line so we can see historically what it's done throughout the day. You'll also notice that when you look at the quad chart, they're also very close to each other. Uh, so for example, in this image, volume as 3954, where open interest is 3939, but yet gamma is 3947 and delta is 3953. So they're all within a pretty tight range of each other, meaning these are not fluctuating wildly across the market. They all tend to stick to an individual range. That's how we're really formulating where this prediction is going to go, is based off these four pillars. Remember, there are other analyzer groups that really help the metrics and help the prediction, but these are what I call the foundation of the market. This comes in two flavors, the free version and the subscriber version. So the free version is, well, 100% free, but it comes with no text wall no metrics, no example trades, and it only updates every 30 minutes. It has minimal support and, well, if you're interested, there's a link down below. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. If you click the link below, it will take you directly to this Discord server. It is completely free of charge. You don't have to give me a credit card or anything like that. It may pop up and say, give me your phone number. That's not me. That's Discord. I've locked this Discord server down as tight as it'll let me 
So everybody joining has to have a verified email account and a verified phone number. All right. First thing you're going to see is README. And it is just a wall of text explaining how do you join the paid version? What are the benefits? What are the limitations of the free version? And how do you use this? It's going to point right back to my YouTube channel. Special note for scammers. The reason why I've set the security level so high is to keep scammers out of here, but they will probably still be somebody in here trying to imitate me. I will never reach out to you directly. If somebody does, they're a scammer, they're not me. And legal disclaimer, of course, this is not financial advice. Comes with no warranty or guarantee of any kind. There is a tip jar in case you made some money and you want to just send me a tip. Help me buy some pizza on a Friday night. And a full legal disclosure. I recommend you read that because guess what? If you're using this, that means you have read and you agree to this disclosure. Announcements, where I just make special announcements. A welcome channel. And you guessed it, the predictions. And let's just scroll down here. This is what the free version looks like. You can see it's got a very, very scaled down text wall. It just says, and at the time of this recording, today is March 2nd, 2023, and it is 1049 in the morning. And it looks like the last update was at 1031. Remember, the free version only goes every 30 minutes. And it's saying SPX current price of 3943.22 is expected to move down, closing near 39.29 but will range from 39.47 to 39.10. So you're getting the prediction, but none of the metrics and none of the example trades. There's a link in case you want to subscribe. And if you click that, it takes you right to the subscription page. You get 30 day free access to change your mind. Then you have the two charts and let's just open one of these up. So this is the prediction chart for today. And you can remember green is good. Now this gets a little bit confusing because you see the price is between the two green lines. So what are we expecting is going to happen here? Well, gamma or our short term prediction is right here, meaning we're expecting this to go up a little bit, but not too much more. And over the course of the day, we're really expecting this to go down to our prediction. You notice our volume profile, this little blue line here is really pointing towards 3900 or 3910, meaning Really, the market's wanting to pull down is what's going on here. And you have the four pillars, volume, gamma, delta, and interest. So you can see those metrics right on the screen. End of day prediction for today at 10.50 in the morning is 39.2888. Let's go ahead and look at the quad chart. I personally like the quad chart because it really dives into a lot of information here. So volume is pointing towards 39.09, meaning we're really expecting this market to go down. Open interest also pointing right around 39.09, meaning everyone else in the market thinks this is going to go down too. Gamma is pointing at 39.46. You notice that's up a little bit, but not much. You see we have this profile. We got this blue spike right here. So gamma's just got this intense motion to 39.50. Delta, on the other hand, is 39.34, so also down. So what we can take from this is, well, Depending on which one of these pillars you really believe in, some people believe in volume, some people believe in gamma, others interest, others delta. Volume says down, gamma says slightly up, interest says down, and delta says slightly down. So we've got three out of four of these are saying down, meaning it's a good guess the market's going to go down. So that's pretty much it. Now you may be asking yourself, is the free version good enough to trade with? Oh yes, it is. You just have to Pick a direction, pick the trade style you want, and go for it. Now let's take a look at the subscriber version. It comes with a text wall, uh, the metrics, example trades, and it updates every five minutes. This is critical right here. So if you enter a trade, you may be sitting here going, well, how do I know if my trade's going to be successful or not? That five minute update is critical to watch because if the market moves, this is going to move with it and tell you exactly where we think it's going to go. Also comes with support and a community. Now by support, I mean, we're not going to tell you how to manage your trades because this is not financial advice, but it comes with a large community of people that can help you improve your trading habits. And we have mentors and experts. I'm not joking when I say mentors and experts. We have people in there that love to teach. And we have people in there that are experts at options trading. I am not, so that's why I've invited them. And they're just doing an amazing job. I appreciate them so much. 
The link is down below, but the link is also available in the free version as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the subscriber version. Okay, this is the paid version right here. It's this little icon. You notice it's a completely different server altogether from the free server. I separated these two so there's no what I call bleed through, so people don't get confused on which server they're actually on. So to join, you would just go in through, the link is down below, it's also in the free server. You give it your name, email, credit card number, and all that, and you get 30 days to try this risk-free. Once you've joined, it will send you an activation code via the email address you use. You take that code and you simply give it to this launch pass bot. You just type in whatever code it gives you and hit enter and it will automatically join you. If you decide to cancel, it walks you through how to do that as well. You just open up launch pass, type the word cancel, hit enter. It'll walk you through on how to cancel it. Leaving the server does not cancel your subscription. And if you forget how to do any of that, there's just another section called cancel that walks you through how to cancel your account. There's a tip jar in case you've made some money and you feel like buying me a pizza. Huge welcome section. Announcements, this is where I say, hey guys, the system's gonna be down for maintenance or I'm releasing a new version. And questions and answers. And once you're a member, you get all of these paid channels. We have like general chat, technical analysis, risk management, options tradings, options fills, buy and hold. Bugs and feedback, I hang out in here quite a bit. And developers, that's right, I'm trying to attract other developers into the system. We have a break room in case you just feel like blowing off some steam and talking about food. And logs. Every day this system posts logs, so you can see the actual accuracy here. So let's crack open, and this is the logs for yesterday at 4.12. And I'm going to open this all the way. You see there's two different logs. Yellow is the old version. Green is the new version, which I'm about ready to release here. So we have SPX, the profit for the day would have been 36,000 on the old version. The new version would have been, uh, wow, $71,000. The overall accuracy was 90% and 98%. Butterflies were 74%. You see, this was a fairly good day. Butterflies aren't usually that accurate. And 97% accuracy on butterflies. Wow, what a kick butt day that was. Iron condors are usually right around 100%, and verticals you can see 98%. Now where's this percentage coming from? Let's dive through this log real quick here. So for SPX, there were 228 trades generated. 224 of them expired full profit, and only four of them failed. But when they fail, they do fail full profit, at least in the log. In the real world, you would use a stop loss. So the overall system accuracy was 98%. Butterflies, you know, there were 76 of them, 74 of them expired, two of them failed for 97%. But then we break butterflies down, zero of them pinned perfectly, but 57 of them were over 50% profit and 19 were under 50% profit. So total butterfly profit, how much we risked, how much we would have made, uh, the ratio of risk to reward, and then same thing for iron condors and verticals. Pretty powerful log. The, the whole community came together and helped me build this log. I'm super happy with it. But that is automatically generated every single day. Now, some days are better than others. So for example, the day before, let's open this up. The market really moved. I think there was a Fed speaker and you can see that the overall system accuracy of 228 trades was about 57, 58%. And that's because butterflies just horrendously sucked that day and only 20, 25% of them expired within profit, but the majority of them were under 50% profit. So butterflies really struggled. However, iron condors, 100% and 98%. Verticals, 53 and 50. You may be wondering why these two numbers are different. It's because as I dial in the system, I'm also changing the example trades. This whole log is based off those example trades only. These do not include anything that you would do on your own. What a lot of the experts do is they ignore the example trades and they just use the prediction. Speaking of experts, we have this education section. You see it is packed. We've got like Ernie from Zero DTE, Tom from Aramer Trading. We have Amplified Investing. Love you guys. There's Vance. Uh, Axe Options. This is my home away from home. I, I mean, it. those folks are like becoming friends, really good friends with me. And by the numbers, of course. And we have Serto, who's a rising star. Serto's doing some just mind-blowing things. I'm in there like every day. 
even I can trade and I'm yeah, I can go on and on option Sandy and we have um, Sheepdog is doing his own SPX vital signs and he does a live stream which is pretty cool and we've invited the Gex bot in here as well this is a separate group of folks but they are developers that are also working towards similar things so we're really just trying to build a huge community now each one of these folks in the education typically runs their own business, meaning if you like what they do and how they do it, you can subscribe to their courses, but they're also in here helping folks. I just love how everybody's come together in this giant community, it's pretty awesome. Now we have the predictions. Now we have two flavors of predictions. We have the current production system and the test system. I'm gonna just jump into tests because I like staying up to date with the newest, latest, and greatest. And this is going to become production very soon. I'm gonna go down to the very bottom and you can see as of 1101, which literally just updated, SPX current price, here's our text wall. There's our metrics. And here's the example trades. And remember, I'm gonna demonstrate, you can just literally copy that and paste it into Thinkorswim. We have our current chart. Let's open that up. So we think that it's going to go up here a little bit, but overall through the day, we're expecting this to go down to probably about 39.32 and change. That's kind of scary. My 401k is going to be really kind of nervous today. And then we have the quad chart that has the underlying metrics all beautifully placed on charts. Now, we don't just do this for SPX. We also do it for SPY. Remember, the free version only gets SPX. The paid version gets many, many more. So here's SPY for the day. And you see it's a much simpler chart because it's, well, I don't want to call it a smaller index, but there's, there's less numbers for that to range around in because it's a smaller range. And then we have XSP, which is like a mini version of SPX, but it's cash settled. It's not like SPY. And then we have QQQ. In case you feel like trading QQQ. And you can see the quad chart for QQQ is much simpler to understand because there's a lot less action going on there. And then we have Apple. Apple's not traded today, but here was yesterday's Apple. Tesla. Again, Tesla's not traded today, but here was yesterday's. And we have RUT. NDX. Let me go all the way down to the bottom here. And we have our trade logs for the test center. We also have some voice and video channels where people will do live streams. And I am actually in the future looking at doing more of these underlyings. Eventually I want to do the entire S&P 500, but remember this is still in its infancy. This software is still in version 1.16, 1.17 at the time of this recording. So it's still very, very early in development. Okay, let's take a look and do a live trade. Uh, for reference, it is 2.43 Eastern Standard Time on Thursday, March 2nd, 2023. This is what the market's done today, kind of slowly ground up, and there's these little bumps and divots, like, you know, really good entry points for different types of spreads, depending on which direction you want, and then suddenly, wham, market snapped way up. Okay, let's go ahead and let's take a look here. Now, because it is late afternoon, it's almost 3 o'clock, we're going to have to be a little cautious here. So I'm going to go into the paid server and let's see what Magic 8 Ball is kicking out. Okay. This is, wow, almost perfect. So look at this, uh, the price is up here. And remember, green is good or follow the green lines. So gamma, 39.54 and change right here is right near the prediction of 39.52, meaning short term, long term, we're expecting this price to snap down to here and then down to here. But we don't want to just trust this chart. Let's go ahead and let's also open up the quad chart. All right, so this is what we're seeing here. Volume is incredibly high right up here in this area at 39.60, but we're predicting 39.59.70. So where's that? 39.59 is right around here. So here's volume right in this range and Gamma is saying 39.54, so it's also right in this range, right at this ledge right here. We can actually just draw a line. I am not the best with thinkorswim, so bear with me here. I'm a developer, I'm not an options trader, so right at that line here, I'll make that a little bit easier to see. Bang. 
So that's right around where those two metrics are pointing. And then let's look at the others. Uh, 3922 interest is even lower. Um, and then delta is at 3954. So Pretty much everything's here, and then interest is way down, down here. Hmm. So if you look at this, and you look at the trend, you're going to say it's going to go up. But it doesn't really look like it has the momentum to go up. So I think it's going to go down. I'm agreeing with Magic 8-Ball on this. So let's look at the trades here. And if you're a subscriber, you get these trades automatically in the text wall. We get a butterfly. Eh. Ernie with zero DTE, he loves butterflies. I have not mastered them. So let's just take a look and see what this is. I'm going to go order entry and save tools, post this, click this little unlock here so you get the actual price. And then let's just analyze this thing. I'm going to have to uncheck some stuff here. Again, I am not an expert with thinkorswim. Bear with me. I'm going to get rid of that vertical I was playing around with earlier. And look at this butterfly. So this is what Magic 8-Ball would be recommending for today. And I'm trying to zoom this in here. Now, if you love butterflies, then you're probably saying this is probably the perfect entry point here because the price is here, and I'll just put that line there, and the price we're expecting it to drop right down into our profit tent, right into that prediction line right here. So this may be a perfect butterfly if you believe in butterflies. Um, mathematically, butterflies have the lowest probability, and I am not an options wizard like Ernie from Zero DTE. So I'm going to look at either an iron condor. It's a bit late in the day for an iron condor, but they do have a very high degree of success in this system. So let's look at that. And let's paste that in there. I'm going to lock for the current price, and let's analyze this trade. This is why they have such a high degree of success. They are astronomically huge condors. I'm looking at this little black box down here with the two numbers. The magenta line, this is the profit curve or you know profit in time. So right now you'd make 16 cents or 5 cents. At the end of the day, it'd be 25 bucks, but you're risking $975 to make that $25. You'd really want to watch this. And this is what I mean by stop loss is critical. $25, personally, and this is not financial advice, I would probably exit out here or here, depending on which way the market goes. We think it's going to go down. So if it went down too far, you'd really want to watch your exit, your stop. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of that. I tend lately to follow more like Axe Options and what they do, and uh, Vance, and a few other folks. Actually, I should say pretty much the whole world's using verticals, but you know what I mean. We're going to copy this, and let's see what Magic 8-Ball is recommending here. I'm going to paste that in, dot .55, unlock it, and let's analyze. In case you're wondering, you unlock it to get the actual price. Now this right here, this gives me some concern. Magic 8 Ball's thinking the market's going to stay above this 39.50, and um, I'm a level with you. I'm not comfortable with that because everything in Magic 8 Ball was saying it's going to go right down to, let me open this up again, right down to the 39.52. So there's a degree of chance that this could stay above that, but it will probably end up like right here at this line, and I'm not sure I want to risk that. So this is what I mean by you have to kind of, you know, be your own expert. Don't just come in here and blindly take trades. Magic 8-Ball is trying to become an expert at making predictions, and the trade system is still a work in progress. All right, but what we can do is we can flip this around and do it ourselves, meaning all is not lost. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. We know it's going to go down. And let's just put that line right where the current price is. And we think it's going to go down to about, what we say, 39.56 right here so it's going to go from here to here so let's and i'll show you how to do this off the free version just to prove you can make money with the free version i'll go to the free version go all the way down to the latest last update was 232 it is 249 but you can see bang pretty much the same thing open this up it's up here it's going to drop here and then drop here now, you notice gamma is up here on the free version, and on the paid version, it's here. It's because the paid version is updating more frequently. This is why you get that benefit of actually being a subscriber. But regardless, we think it's going to go down. So I'm just going to note that we think it's going to go down to about 39.56. But this is up here, so I would probably split the difference between these two. And I would say we don't want to go any higher than really right around 39.66. 
Where did I get that number? Out of thin air. I just, I'm guessing, honestly. So I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to hunt for something that is in our price range here. So we could actually go here if we think it's going to go down, but I'm, I'm still newbie here. So I'm going to hunt and pick for something. Again, this is not financial advice and all of you senior level options traders are probably laughing at me right now. All right. So this one looks good. 39.85. I'm confident this is going to go down. Might go to 39.90. Twenty-five. There we go. Now take special note. It's at twenty-five. I want to show you something here. So we're going to confirm and send. I'm paper trading, and I want to show you how to paper trade as well. We're going to hit send. Oh, when it filled automatically. All right. So paper trading typically has crap fills. This one did fill at twenty-five. I'm impressed. But usually it's just garbage. Um, so if it gave you like a dot forty-five instead of twenty-five, you just right-click, go to analyze, and then in the analyze tab you would adjust this where you actually got it filled at or where you thought it would have filled at, like dot .20, for example. But it was actually fairly logical that time. So what I would do now is I would just ride this either to expiration. The end of the day is coming up in about an hour, so I'm fairly confident this will make full profit. Or I would set some sort of stop. So I'm looking at this little magenta number down, or I'm sorry, the teal number down here, 25. So me personally, and this is not financial advice, I do a 2x stop. And so I would hunt for right around here at 3980 is where I would set my stop. So if the market suddenly ripped up to 3980, I would just cut my losses and get out. Otherwise, just sit back, watch Netflix and collect your profits at the end of the day. Um, I'm going to level with you. I may actually take this trade in real life. That looks like it's actually going to be a really solid trade. But uh I hope you found this educational and entertaining, and I hope to see you in the room. I wanted to take a moment and talk about our mentoring system. You've noticed repeatedly in the video I've said that I am not an expert, I am not a professional options trader, I'm a developer. So what I've done is I've invited experts and professional options traders into this group, and they are all in the education section. And let's just dive through some of these. So like. Zero DTE, this is Ernie. He really specializes in butterflies. And some of his trades just blow my mind because I'm like, how did you even do that? Um, Tom with Aramir Trading, he's really, really great guy. And Amplified Investing, Vance Lauren, and they also have Buy the Numbers in here as well. Great group of folks. And I've learned a lot just from having them in this group. I'm, I think my knowledge has gone up 200%. I didn't have much to begin with, but anyways... Um, Axe Options with um, Ariane and folks, these are, I'm going to admit, this is my home away from home. You can see I literally have them right under my Discord. So if I'm not in my Discords, I'm in Axe Options chatting away and watching and learning from them. Great group of professionals. And then we have Serto. He's uh, one of our members. And this guy is just completely kicking butt right now. I mean, some of his profits are insane. And I'm still trying to wrap my head around what he's doing and how he's doing. I mean, look at this win rate, 94%. Uh, profit and loss, he's made 600%. <laughs> and he's very transparent about what he's doing. Um, even I can trade. This guy, man, hats off. He's taught me so much. And uh, it's just, you know, basic things that you think you would get off a standard YouTube video that I just can't seem to find out there. That he's very patient. He's very willing to teach people. And then option Sandy. Another great individual. She's got her own service and I'm in there as well. Great service, great information, great group of people. And then we have some homegrown stuff like SPX Vital Signs. You have Sheepdog here who will actually run a live stream. And then I'm actually inviting other people. Uh, for example, Gexbot. I didn't write Gexbot. This is some other folks actually like Jazz and team. They wrote this and I've invited them in here and said, hey, please, you know, show what you got to our folks. And this is just, I mean, this is gold. It's just really great to have this nice community of people where we all kind of work together to help each other make money. And I want to grow this ed education section out even further. So if you are a, I don't want to say a YouTube celebrity, but if you're like a options expert and you have a YouTube channel, or if you have some sort of bot like Gextream, just join right into the free server, hit me up. Uh, I'm Brian C, this guy right here, and just say, hey, you know, I want to join as a educator and mentor, and I'll just hook you right up. Hope to see you there. Bye.